Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Noomta, the Crochet Gold. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Like, share and comment on my videos. And today we are going to do this beautiful wall hanging. Now, this is a multi-purpose wall hanging. You can put um, anything in it. You can put your plants in it or you can put any other thing. Also, you can use it for your letters. So hang it on the door. And you can put your letters in it and it is a multi-purpose and a beautiful piece of project so for this one I've used my 100% cotton yarn and I've used a 4 mm of the hill and this one is about eight and a half inches of white about 22 centimeters and the basket size is about approximately six inches or 15 and a half centimeters and the actual project with the hanging and with this loop as well it is around it is 18 inches about 46 centimeters without this tassels and that's it so let's begin Okay, so for this one, let's take the yarn and we're going to make a slip knot here. Now, I'm going to chain up 38 here. 3, 8. Now, if you want your project to be a bigger one, take your chains more than 38. And if you want your project to be a smaller one, uh, take your chains less than 38. But it would be better to take your chains in multiple of 2. So here I'm taking my chains of 38. So let's chain up. It's 1, 2, 3, 37, and 38. So these are my 38 chains. And I'm going to yarn over and will insert my hook into my second chain. So remember, we're going to skip the first chain and we're going to insert our hook into the second chain. And here we're going to do our double crochet like this yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops and now yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops and that is your first double crochet and we're gonna put our stitch marker here like this and now chain one now here into that same stitch we are going to do another double crochet so yarn over insert your hook into that same stitch grab your yarn and do your double crochet plus chain one so remember we have done our first double crochet and chain one and then our second double crochet and chain one now we're going to skip the next chain so do not work on the next chain and into the chain after that yarn over and do your another double crochet and chain one now the next chain we're gonna skip the next chain and then to the next chain after that we're gonna do one more double crochet and chain one and keep on repeating this pattern so skip one chain and into the chain after that do your double crochet and chain one and i'm gonna meet you at the end here Okay, so here it is. I've done my um, double crochets and chain one. And in total, I have my 20 double crochets plus 20 chain ones here. Now, as I've done my last double crochet and chain one into my this last chain, I'm going to do another two double crochets and two chain ones into this last chain. So here I've done my last double crochet and a chain one. And I'm going to yarn over and we'll insert my hook into that same last chain we'll do a double crochet and chain one and one more double crochet and one more chain one like this and in total i have my 22 double crochets and 22 chain one now we're going to turn our work to the other side of the chain so just turn your work into the other side and yarn over and insert your hook into this space so skip this three double crochets one two and three and directly insert your hook into this space between this two double crochets yarn over 
and insert your hook into that space grab your yarn and make a double crochet here and then chain one now again we're going to skip this double crochet and we're going to insert our hook into this space yarn over and do a double crochet and chain one and keep on repeating it so keep on doing your double crochet between previously done two double crochets and chain one and i'm gonna meet you at the end here okay so i've done my double crochets this way and i've done my last double crochet and chain one and this is my 40th double crochet and chain one and now i'm gonna yarn over and we'll insert my hook into this space if you can see a space here as we have made two double crochets at the first you will find a space here so i'm going to insert my hook into that space yarn over and insert your hook into that space grab your yarn and do your last double crochet and chain one like this now instead of attaching our work here at the end of our first round I will insert my hook directly here between these two double crochets and this chain one space here. So yarn over and insert your hook here into this chain one space. Grab your yarn, yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops. Yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops. And that's your first double crochet of your round number two. So for that one, take out your stitch marker. And insert your stitch marker into your first double crochet of your round number two and chain one like this and keep on repeating your pattern here so yarn over and insert your hook into this chain one space remember we are not going to work on this double crochet as we have already worked on this chain one space, we are going to work on this chain one space. So insert your hook here into chain one space, grab your yarn and do your double crochet and chain one. Again, skip this double crochet and into this chain one space, yarn over and do your double crochet plus chain one. And keep on repeating this pattern and until your round number seven. And I'm going to meet you after the round number seven. Do not forget to put your stitch marker at uh, the start of your round, at the first stitch of your round, so that you will remember that which round you have been working on and which is your first stitch of your round. So do not forget the stitch marker. Also, turn your work like this. Turn your work as we, are, as we have been working here. This is the front portion and this is the back portion so your work will be this way so turn your work and i will meet you after round number seven okay so after my round number seven my work looks like this it is here now this stitch marker is here this is the first stitch of my round number seven so you can see that i haven't finished my round number seven three stitches are still left to do but do not worry we are going to come up here so if you have finished up this round number seven and you are been here do not worry we are going i'm going to come up here it is just to explain what we are going to do next and here as we are on our round number seven i am going to put our stitch marker somewhere here in the middle now if you are finding it difficult uh, please count your stitches as one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so you can put your uh, stitch marker somewhere here in the middle you will understand that where to put your stitch marker so here i'm going to take out my this stitch marker and i'm going to put my stitch marker here and we have done this because we are gonna be here as we have finished up our seven rounds we are gonna come up here so don't worry as we are somewhere here we are gonna come up in the middle so let's begin now i'm gonna keep on 
working as I was been doing with my pattern. So just keep on doing your one double crochet and chain one. Yeah, like this. So here I am at the middle of my this project and I'm not gonna take out this stitch marker. I'm gonna keep the stitch marker there. And as I've done my this double crochet and chain one, I'm gonna yarn over and will insert my hook into this chain one space where I've put my stitch marker, grab in my yarn, and make a double crochet here and chain one. And now I'm going to turn my work. So as I have made this chain one, I'm going to turn my work like this. And instead of working on this chain one space, I will directly put my hook into this second chain one space. So remember, I have made my this double crochet here, then chain one. And I'm going to skip this chain one space and I will yarn over and will insert my hook into this second chain one space here. And we'll grab my yarn and we'll make a double crochet here. Chain one. Again, I'm going to repeat my pattern here. So just insert your hook into your next chain one space and keep on repeating your pattern. So keep on doing your double crochet plus chain one. And you're going to go all the way around until here, until where your stitch marker is. So keep on doing your stitches until here. All the way around back and I'm gonna meet you here and here it is I've done my this stitch this last stitch double crochet with a one chain one and it's here now I'm gonna do my another double crochet and chain one into that same chain one space where we have started up our this work and we have put our this stitch marker so yarn over and insert your hook into that same chain one space grab your yarn and make a double crochet here plus chain one like this and now you're going to turn our work this way now remember if you want this portion to be a bigger one you can always add up uh, some rows here and then you can start splitting this rows from here so instead of uh, having your seven rows you can go up to your eight rows nine rows ten rows as per your requirement and then start splitting up this rows now as we have done about this last double crochet here i've chained up one and i'm not gonna work on this chain one space the next chain one space i'm not gonna work on that one yarn over and insert your hook into the that next chain one space and keep on repeating the pattern here so keep on doing your double crochet plus chain one and keep on repeating this pattern and i'm gonna meet you at the end here okay so after my this round my work looks like this and i am here so here we don't have any space so i'm not gonna work on this space this is going to be my last stitch and I've made my this double crochet here and then chain one and I will turn my work and we'll skip this chain one space. I'm not going to work on this chain one space and I will work on this second chain one space after skipping my this double crochet and we'll keep on doing my pattern. And keep on doing your pattern and from this splitting here i'm gonna start counting this as my first round so i'm gonna meet you after my 20th round so one two three and four and i'm gonna meet you after my 20th round and keep on repeating this pattern and each round you're gonna decrease your two stitches so your work will be in a triangular shape and i will meet you after my round number 20 starting from here round number one
Okay, after my round number 20, I'm right here and my work looks like this. And for round number 21, I've chained up one hair and I will turn my work. And we'll keep on repeating my pattern. So I will skip the first chain one and I will insert my hook into my second chain one and I've made my this double crochet chain one and then into this last chain one space. So make another double crochet and then chain one like this. Now I've already made chain one so I'm going to turn my work yarn over and insert your hook into this chain one space. Now remember this is the first chain one space but as we don't have any space left here we're going to insert our hook into this one and that's going to be our last stitch like this that's going to be our last stitch and now here we are going to chain up 20 so it's one two three 19 and 20 chain up 20 and insert your hook into your first chain so this is my first chain and i'm going to insert my hook into this back portion of my first chain and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make a slip stitch here like this tight up your book and now i'm going to make 24 to 25 single crochet around this 20 chains so for that one now i'm counting it as 24 to 25 because i don't want you to overlap your stitches or i don't want you to lose up any space as well so depending uh, on your yarn uh, material depending on your hook sometimes it's going to take your 25 stitches sometimes it takes your 24 stitches so here i'm going to insert my hook into this loop like this and we'll grab the yarn and i'm going to have my two loops and we'll make a first single crochet here so this is my first single crochet and i will keep on doing my single crochets around this chain 20 so this is my second single crochet three four five six and here it is i have made my 24 single crochets here and will insert my hook into my first stitch grab the yarn and we'll make a slip stitch here like this and i'm gonna cut a longer tail here so take a little bit longer tail because we're gonna round up here our yarn we're gonna round up here at this portion so it would be better to cut a longer yarn take your scissors and cut it from here Now to secure your last stitch, just pull out this yarn, it's going to be a longer yarn, so just be careful, and that's it, pull your stitch and here it is, your loop is ready and for this portion, this one we are gonna tie up this yarn around your this so what I've done is I've taken a piece of paper or a tissue here and just have folded up and have put my yarn around around it so that it will be easier for me to work and simply tie up your portion until here do not work here do not put your yarn here 
just as we have done this last double crochet here just put your yarn around your last double crochet like this and put it around your last double crochet and I'm gonna meet you after that and here it is I've done my this yarn now we have done this one to give a vintage look to the project and uh, to provide the security as well this will strengthen up your this project so when you have been holding it um, on anywhere this portion will be secure enough so that it will hold your project it will hold anything in your project so that's why we are doing this now i've left with this much of yarn don't worry i'm gonna cut my yarn here and I will secure this one so for that one just take your needle insert your yarn and just put your needle this way and take this out And this is now secure put your loose end in and we are gonna do tassels at the bottom now okay now for the tassels take any of the plastic or your visiting card or anything like this or you can simply put your fingers around now i want my tassels to be a little bit bigger than my fingers so you can take this portion as your measurement like this or you can take anything like this and just put your yarn around like this for one, two, three, four, five, and six times, like this, and cut your yarn from here. Take your hook and grab it this way. Now, here at the bottom. Just insert your hook into your first stitch somewhere here you'll find your first stitch so just insert it here okay I'm just gonna take out this just insert your hook like this and your tassel in this way and take it out this way and just make a chain here just the way we are doing chain ups just make a chain here And pull your work. Tighten up your work, and that's it. And keep on doing your tassels after every two stitches. Put your tassel on the third stitch. So this is the one I worked. So this this two I'm gonna skip the one and two and i will skip my and uh, sorry this two i will skip and i will put my tassel here for the second one i'm gonna repeat the process one two three four five and six And keep on repeating and I will meet you after that and here it is I've put my all the tassels and now I'm gonna cut my tassels and I will trim them up so that 
they will be equal in size. So just cut your yarn, your tassels. Yeah, it is. And now trim your this end portion so that your tassels will be in a uniform size. And here it is, it's all done, it's ready. And our vintage looked net hanging basket or pouch is ready. You can put anything in it. You can put your plants in it. You can put your letters in it. Uh, I'm going to put my this little teddy in it. So just put your teddy in this and hang it. That's going to be perfect for any room. And I hope you have liked my today's tutorial. If you have liked, please like, share and comment on my videos. And please, please, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you into the next video. Till then, bye.